What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Title War. Let's play as Louisiana. So to round off up the last time, uh, we spent the whole part pretty much, I spent way too long jabbering about what's going on, uh, but we fought quite a large defensive action near Ireland and actually got a good opportunity to intercept um, a British army en route to London, which I think we have to take and it should be a river battle by all accounts. And um, we will have this, so seeing these being able to look at the uh, the armies on the battle actually might have a, another army near Bristol coming in behind us. So we've definitely got the two larger forces ahead of us. That's this guy and this guy. Then we've also got you and you coming in from behind us. So I'm hoping they don't come in until afterwards. We do have our own reinforcements, but this is the London garrison and they're not very good. Um, but let's do it. We will at the very... Should, well, we should hopefully do a lot of... To the British as they attempt to cross the the river and the bridge really seem to cross the bridge all that much good stuff river battle exactly what we wanted to see so there's the ford and there's probably another ford yep there it is okay so group the bulk of our artillery against one of the fords Although actually it might be smart to have a 12 pounder just sat here firing at targets of opportunity and specifically put one set of guns per fording position because from caster shot they can still cr get them as they cross the river from deployment uh you no not you you yeah so with canister shot you're you can you kill them as they cross the uh the river which is still good Let's dump some line, five line to cover that section, five line to cover this section. We will peel some away when we know what we're facing um, when it comes to reinforcements. But I'm hoping my cavalry could do some good delay actions there. Right, okay, so we're actually fairly okay for the most part when it comes to reinforcement well reinforcement directions uh, I say that right here okay so my reinforcement troops that are all the way over here So my field artillery over here, you guys pound their artillery over there. So I've dumped a bunch of my dudes into square here, just because the initial waves are all cavalry. You don't shoot. My own cavalry is en route. One general's been killed. Are they going to seek to cross? It looks like they are. Let's put my general over on this flank. That's another general killed. Fortunately, they're taking their time, so my men over here can actually rush over and take up their defensive position. Stay in square. you can probably go like that and begin to engage those light dragoons the left forward is actually quite well protected for now focus on forming squares at the start of our with our initial waves Form line to chase off these last dragoons. You guys hold fire for now. Eng 
engage that unit of Brunswick Her Dragoons. Okay, so over on the other flank, Theodore. The cavalry have hit us on every direction. But our squares look like they're standing strong. We managed to push back the first cavalry unit to try to seek their way across. Uh, you guys... Go forward to chase down these gunner units. There will be more of them. Sorry if there are times that I can't really focus on the, uh, the detail of the battle going on. I do need to focus more on the grand strategy. God, I thought that was going to be a... Okay, you guys get out of formation. You guys get back into square because there's still dragoons nearby. Another gunner killed. You guys blast the 48th. This melee infantry run down here. Okay, as the cavalry is routing in all directions except for that unit of Hussars. There we go. Attack that unit of horse artillery. Good stuff. We are chasing them off. It's a big cavalry round on this flank. So now it's coming down to uh, the infantry battle. Which infantry, British infantry is very good. But we've got to hope our men can prevail. Supported with rapid firing artillery. Here come the uh, Irish volunteers. We need to keep an eye on over here just to make sure we don't get surprised with anything. But if these guys, well, when these guys win, I will actually push some reinforcements over to this side of the river. And there we go, it's the first, first retreat. Engage the Grenadiers. Who's that coming? Swiss pikemen. Focus fire Swiss pikes, please. Bring these guys across. Get the Curiosiers over there as well. Get the guns to limber up. Get the guns to limber up and reposition. Yeah, we do need to keep some people here because they might come back. Um, but I don't need to worry so much about. Okay, I need to pivot you guys to be slightly more in the action. Same with you guys, really. I need to get up as many men in the in the uh, field as possible. These guys should be... Okay, run, 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 run. Okay, if you guys can defeat the Swiss Guards handily, probably would have been useful to have cavalry, but there we are. Let's pivot these guys, ready to face surprise, the surprise enemy. flank. Again, I am very, very cagey about these Swiss pikes, just because Swiss pikes are no bueno. Come on, the 
the wavering. Route, make them route good. Okay, cavalry artillery keep engaging. Pivot you guys to also face down the British infantry. These guys with the guns should be enough. Pikemen should break. There we go. Now we start fighting the Irish volunteers. There we go. And our reinforcements are back. So let's get my light infantry over there. Horse artillery, how are you doing? Engaging the horse artillery. And this is a massive block of men, a massive block of Irishmen crossing over. There we go, the Coeur de Bois are now within range. We're ready, man. Quite a major battle really um, because if we lost this we'd draw in our london garrison which would make them even weaker and that's the last thing we want to do good those infantry have routed okay where's my light cavalry oh no that horse artillery routed okay you guys can stay there really there we go as they fall back swiss pikemen Again, we've said it before, Swiss pikemen, no bueno. Uh, let's dump these guys here, just to get some more muskets. There we go, Swiss pikemen are done. As the canister shot begins to chip away. Irish frontiers, Irish frontiers, Irish frontiers. They're all Irish frontiers, okay, good. Man, imagine what quicklime would do to them now. As it is, we're having to rely on good old gunfire. Uh, let's just check. Yep. Yeah, they came back. We're about to get supported by blunderbuss shotgunners, so I may as well dismount my gunners and keep them keep my line here whereas over here the uh, charnel house is still in for business so this 12 pounder here you guys keep engaging really keep engaging the block 19th Regiment of Foot in a valiant effort to try and protect the home of the Colonial Masters sadly going to be massacred far from home Handily, some of these men don't actually fire until the entire mass is across the river to make my cavalry route but that was mainly because uh, I wasn't looking but the light cavalry should deal with them adequately let's do a bit of time let's now space these guys out a bit smarter switch you to round shot because no one's in range although someone's coming in range but here we go even more men to be destroyed. Let's 
right now, it's just my light infantry skirmishing across the river, picking off men in the vulnerable places, I think. Yep, yeah, there go the guerrilla mercenaries. Pretty sure that's probably... Nope, another unit of guerrilla mercenaries. So you guys wait. Let's get back over to the Côte de Bois. Are they actually going to try force the other river crossing? Admirable, but foolish, my old friend. We're winning over there as well. Granted, we aren't as well supplied with men. They are, actually, by the looks of things. Well, you guys that have ran all the way over there are going to run all the way back. There, General's bodyguard! Run away! You madman! could actually see my cavalry run off because they've actually not got that many of them. Huh. As soon as I say that, they route. But I think it's probably... Well, I've said that. I've said that before. Okay, let's set up our men. It's interesting the AI has actually switched because they normally don't. Although I'll hold off sending all my men over. But they are going to make a good show of it. These guys now, now don't have any ammo. So you men... Well, no, run away first before you rout. Right, this general, you can take command of the left bre breach. Okay, now you guys run. a lot of more men than I really would like to see against those forces. Probably like to do something like that. Stretch these guys a little bit more over here. These guys are racking up some kills. See, they have a, they, do, they do appreciate that I have still weakened my position. However, these devils. There we go. Within range for musketry. And there goes the 11th. So the main advantage in bulk, in um, combining all your infantry like that is that it uh, you kind of snowball the morale effect because every volley you fire there's quite a massive morale 
penalty on the enemy. So when you've got lots of men volleying all together, the morale the morale penalties they have are pretty huge. One of these men is fresh. It was 190 odd. It was previously before it joined the fray. All these men are actually uh, untested. start holding, specifically holding fire now at certain points. I might put a set of guns in here actually and fall one unit back completely. Starting to well, you, well, it's a matter. Of, it's a fact. You will run into ammunition problems. Like these guys are running pretty low. Got a lot of dead, dead Brits and Irish to show for it. But my God, it's. Although now there's not as much of a risk of. There's not as much of a risk of being overrun on that side, so it's not as much of a problem. This is why I've got my Native American infantry around, just in case things go take a bit of a turn for the worst. Can you switch to round shot and engage the Irish volunteers? And with round shot, they can actually fire along quite. A, they can fire quite a long way. Engage the 35th. So this unit hasn't been blemished by war. It sits there fresh as a daisy, firing not with advanced firing drills. As the cast shot flies in. hit them with cast shot just because they're so close set of guns. Ah, oh, General's bodyguard has routed. The 40th Regiment again, unbloodied, not suffering from from the from war. It's being scythed down by men holding guns. There we go. Then the gun that's positioned all the way up here is within range drop oh no sorry not you 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 do have range so who's this it's the 40th they've come back just as a bunch of uh, canister shot scythes in and kills a bunch of them come to the 28th too bad about the sound there we go 
Oh, they're attempting the crossing, led by a brave officer. Let's see how well he does. Oh no, he's done enough. Let's see if this guy actually makes it. Commander of the 40th, Let's see if the colonel makes it. You lucky swine. Get our two to engage the 45th. But I think it was a bit dicey at the start, but I think this has actually gone quite well. The second Grandier Regiment is now engaging. You're fighting for your homeland. But your zeal for King Country is not enough. There goes the officer. What about this guy? Oh. So close. Don't worry, he's taking up position again. The man behind them died. They've lost their colours. And let's pick the other guns. Set them to attack the general, speed up time, because he will probably route in his own time. There we go. He has an attempt to make a crossing, and that is a heroic victory for Theodore on the London, just outside of the capital. We lost 600 men, they lost 4,000. And obviously the colonial line infantry did excellently, the 12 pounders did good as well. So many kills for my colonial line. They've been killed. They've been pushed back. They've been pushed back. They've been pushed back. And there goes. That's the end of the British turn. Want? <laughs> we need to knock them out. But um, theoretically, every every response they send should get weaker. I do not like where this is going. The Spanish are uh, organising men near the coast. They could mean to attack us. Hmm. The Swedish will also be plotting against us. This entire stack trading our transatlantic trade between us and the the Russians, probably. Genoese. So yeah, the smaller Italian states actually have surprisingly big fleets. Same with Greece, actually. So that's probably why it's not really worth winding up too much. It's not a very good fleet. New town emerges. Saratoga, New York. Here you go. Have a craft workshop. You fellows get into the university. Trade raided. The Brits. It's not a bad little fleet. Eh... Uh, I don't really want to attack with you. Okay, so that's the West Africa region. So let's take my Caribbean fleets, sail them over to West Africa to take over from the fleet in position so I don't lose the spot. I don't want to use that fleet to attack their fleet because mine's slightly damaged. Not a bad fleet either, but it's probably better than what I can do. Spain and Great Britain. Enemy raid in Galway. Fine. Yes, my lord. Um, okay, Onward. let's take the two weakest units of infantry. Onward. Get them out of the city. Get the expat, sit Onward. expat infantry to take their place. You guys replenish and let's replenish as much as we can. Okay, let's rebuild Somerset House. Let's rebuild the British Museum. Your orders, Your Majesty. Uh, have I repaired the? No. Arsenal. So we will always need a garrison, just because our. 
capacity to well really we can't afford to uh we can't afford to do too much offensive action right now while we strengthen ourselves you are in complete good condition it's a lot of infantry really what i want is this force to grow march forward and attack the stacks and clear out ireland i want you to be replenished you probably need to go over here now not as good in terms of coverage protection but it will stop these guys sprinting down and trying to take london i really don't want to destroy that university um i could knock down one of these buildings and try and build a catholic school i'm pretty sure we just start to get religious unrest problems now i mean i know they really hate us and i really don't want to knock down I really don't want to knock down that university. Um, so I'm probably going to knock down this College of Divinity. Because I'm not getting any religious happiness anyway. So I may as well replace it with one of my buildings. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So. You just uh, hold out for now. Gunner scores everywhere. Can immediately be upgraded to ordnance boards. Although that's a bad idea. I'd rather spend the money on... Over here. Okay, let's pick up one government upgrade, or one industry upgrade, and the clearances. Okay, you're still on route to North America. You're still converting. Let's upgrade the clearances here. One more turn to Yorktown grows, eh? It's pretty good. That'd be another port. Um, awesome. So let's hit and turn and see what happens. No doubt we will get attacked by the British. So uh, let's see. And if we don't get attacked, then we'll be replenished. Mm, some big fleets. <laughs> I mean, they're bold. Let's give them that. Victory! We only lost 100 men there. It was actually nice for once. Okay, they've gone down to Portsmouth. That's uh, that's fine. They're raiding all our buildings. That's also fine. They tore down our religious building. That's not fine. But actually, compared to the grief the last turn caused us, that was pretty mellow, I thought. Let's just replenish our troops and counter-attack. So Ireland, their armies have gathered together. We can attack them. We do need to garrison the ports to make sure they don't do anything sneaky. At least nothing so sneaky that we don't at least buy ourselves war. I know the Austrians don't like me, but uh, they've got their own problems to deal with right now. They're at war with a bunch of people. Oh no, I didn't... Um... Oh wait. No, yeah. I was pretty sure my fleets hadn't made it over there, but I assumed based on visibility we had, but no, we've probably got a trade route that goes through it. I'm marching along North Africa. Oh no! I let them. I let. Okay, stop. Don't go anywhere. Good. Whew. <laughs> I, oh no! No! I was like, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere, please. Um. Okay. Matter of priority. Sinking that Mughal fleet. Twenty-one grand. Okay, so they've done some raiding. My garrison is now at full strength, so that means you get to leave the city, and you are now the new Forward. governor. March. You guys replenish, pick up a artillery piece to max out your numbers. Again, they do really hate us still. You will Forward. march over and attack them. Probably Lord. lay siege to Edinburgh just to tie them down. They're very depleted and I could probably attack it, but there's not really a need to do that right now. Sir, your orders? 
actually, you're very depleted. So what I'm probably going to do is take this unit of 24 men. Ready. Push them out of Belfast. That's occupied. Forward. Good. Men. Forward. Um, I really didn't want to merge, our, merge units together. But I might merge some of these weakest ones together to at least form yes, middle-sized units. And bear in mind, some of them I am managing. I am able to keep the experience up a fair amount. You guys are punished. Can you leave Three Ireland? You can. Um, Auto-resolve these guys at Galway. And valor Pair the pleasure garden. Although probably we don't need it, actually. Not with, not with Dublin. Well, maybe with the people we've got in government, we might have to. Bring you guys back. Okay, let's repair the port here. We don't really need a naval hospital here. Just like we don't need one there either. Okay, let's run... No, let's not run anyone over yet. We do want to attack them. Yorktown has grown here, so we get a trade port. Governor's Palace, and let's also pick up a Weaver's Cottage upgrade and a Government upgrade. The fleets have arrived. You're not worth fighting. On deck. Persia, Crimea. Oh, I think these are ours as well. Pretty sure that's some third party. Yeah. Denmark with a whole bunch of fifths and brigs. Okay, let's also go over to West Africa. Eh, bomb catch, third rate, second rate. Could you do damage to them? Eh, they could probably defend themselves, but probably just kill them, steal their first, the second and third rates. Letter of demands, England. Workers riot, England. They'll come around. Oh, Ceylon's got a lot of things it can upgrade. I'm going to want all of these to maximise our capacity to make, to wage war with them. Uh, but... Oh, I had to move my... Okay, you... Well, first of all... Oh... Can't really forget first, fourth bomb catch. Compared to a whole bunch of fifth rates, do not like their odds, but this is why we have ships being recruited. Ah, you're not a good fleet either. Neither are you. I've shipped off all my heavies, haven't I? That's exactly what I've done. Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Wherever they dump their troops. Oh. Okay, I'm going to kamikaze a fleet. I know you guys hate me auto resolving, but I'm rubbish. I'm going to auto resolve these guys to see if there's a chance that they win. We yes! <laughs> <laughs> it cost us a lot. We lost a bunch of ships. Please run to our coastline. And I say that just to uh, keep them in sight. You. Well, your flagship. Very much took the coward's way out there. I, I appreciate that. You guys get to Puerto Cabello and replenish. You guys go in. Probably could do with capturing Our it, but God damn. What? Two, Don't let those lovers escape. The sea is ours. Phew. Yes, my lord. 
Lost us, we lost a bunch of ships doing it. But that just goes to show what happens if you uh, don't nip things in the bud quickly. Um, let's put a militia into port. Good. Um, hop over to Europe. So what we're going to do is take Adrian Marie Sanxe and go over and hit these guys in Oxford. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the Battle of Oxford. Cheers everyone.